In this video, I'm going to try and give a quick overview of how to set up and fly a simple auto mission. Now, you really shouldn't try auto missions before you've made sure that you're good and comfortable flying in stabilized mode. And also, uh, you should make sure that Alt Hold, Loiter, and RTL are all working properly before you try this. So now it's time to set up the mission. Click on the Flight Planner button. Then on the Flight Planner screen, I open up this little section where all the commands are displayed at the bottom. Then I hit the Read Waypoints button to read in any waypoints from the APM. Now it asks me if it wants to reset home to loaded coordinates. So what this means is, do you want to set the mission planner's home position to be the copter's current location? I always say yes to that. There, and you can see that the home location is moved over top of the copter. Now, uh, let's get on to adding some commands. So I click this Add Below button. I set the first command to be a takeoff command. Then in the Alt field, I add how high I want it to go in meters. So this is 25 meters. Next, I want to add a point to the south, uh, maybe 40 meters to the south or so. So I can just click on the map here. This took two attempts. And I can drag and drop it. Now, 40 meters, how far is that? Well, if you look up here on the top left, it tells you how far your cursor is from home. So uh, I can grab this, move it up and let go, and then it will update. So I'm 80 meters, that's not good. So this is uh, very close, let me zoom in a bit. So 44 meters, okay, that's fine, that's close enough. Now the altitude has defaulted to 25, uh, but I always double check that anyway. Now the last command we want to run is a return to launch. So return to launch, and that is it. And then I'm going to write those waypoints. There we go. And then we can read them back just to be sure that everything's fine. You know, return to launch doesn't take any other extra commands, so you know, no altitude or anything. So that's fine as it is. Okay, so there's our mission. Um, now let's just go and check some of these uh, RTL-related parameters to make sure that they're okay. So let's go over to the configuration screen, advanced parameters, advanced param list, and go right down to where RTL is. There, there, there. So um, now the way that RTL works is that the copter will first climb to a safe altitude, and that altitude is defined by this RTL alt parameter. It defaults to 1500, but where I fly there's a lot of trees, so I set that to 2500, so 25 meters. Uh, the loiter time, this is, so it will first climb to the safe altitude, it will return home, and it will wait above home for five seconds, and then it will descend. So the amount of time that it waits over home is controlled by this RTL loit time, and that is in milliseconds, so 5000 is five seconds. Then. Uh, after uh, waiting over home for five seconds, it will descend, and normally it will, by default rather, it will stop at two meters and switch into loiter mode and let the pilot retake control. But for me, I prefer it to actually just land, so I set that parameter to zero. So after I've made these changes, I press the right params button. So that is okay. Uh, a couple other things you can check down here at the bottom. Uh, WP nav speed. This is the horizontal speed in centimeters per second. So 500 is uh, 5 meters per second. So that's the speed at which it will return horizontally. Then you also have a speed up and down. So when it does that initial climb, uh, it will by default climb at uh, 2.5 meters per second. And in the final descent, it will uh, descend uh, at 1.5 meters per second by default. I find that a bit slow, so I set that 200, uh, so 2 meters per second. So after I've made those updates, I push the right params button. Okay, now the last thing is to actually set the flight modes. So on the configuration screen, flight modes area, so they're all set to stabilize, which is no good. Um, 
in with my three position switch, uh, this is my first position, so I leave that as stabilized mode. Uh, then my second position is flight mode four. I'm going to set this to loiter and simple mode, and I have that available so that if something goes wrong, I can easily switch it back to loiter. Uh, I don't need to worry about which way it's heading, and I can retake control easily. Uh, then the final switch position that I have uh, is, is flight mode six, so I'll set that to auto, and I will save modes. There we are. So now we are ready to go out and give it a fly. Okay, the next thing we're going to check is the uh, auto mission. So I've already uh, programmed it in through the mission planner, and uh, I've set up my flight mode switch right here. So the top position is auto, and the middle is loiter, uh, and the bottom is stabilized now. Uh, if anything goes wrong, I just want to be able to you know switch back into loiter quickly. So that's, that's why I have that mode set up. Uh, so my copter over there has been sitting there for uh, at least 30 seconds, maybe longer, uh, so that it's got a, a good solid GPS lock. I'm going to arm the copter. There it is armed. I'm going to switch it. The way that I, you kick off an auto mission is you switch it into auto mode, and then the moment that you lift the throttle, the mission starts. So let's start that. So into auto mode and off we go. Oops. Got frame. So there it is. It should be climbing up to about 25 meters or so. And then it should head off straight forward. Because straight forward is south. Oh, it's gone out of focus. Why is that? There it is. Must be getting pretty close to 25 meters by now. Off it goes. There it is. Now it has stopped over there. And now it is doing an RTL. There it is. There it is. Stopped over home. Should wait there for five seconds. And then it starts descending, which is what it's doing. Now I set it to two meters per second, which is a little bit quick, a little bit quicker than default. Uh, in the last part of the RTL, it descends at just 50 centimeters per second, half a meter per second. That's uh, settable through the uh, land speed parameter. At this point, it's gotten pretty close to the ground, so I can push the throttle down to zero. Uh, that just means that once it lands, it will turn off the motors. If you don't, if you don't put your throttle zero, it'll never disarm the motors. Done. And the last thing I do is just switch into stabilized mode, of course.